Professional oil analysis is the only objective method of determining the condition and service life of engine oil. Oil test kits are even available from online retailers. Test results can be difficult to interpret without also testing new oil for sake of comparison. Visual oil inspection is subjective, but can identify common oil problems. Oxidation is rightfully referred to as the lubricant's nemesis. Thick oil, varnish, and sludge are all visual identifiers of oxidation. Oxidation is caused by numerous factors like excess service intervals, excess heat, incorrect oil formulation, and oil contamination. Many of these factors seem to happen at the same time, like using an automobile oil in a zero turn in Texas with a restricted grass screen and 150 hour oil service intervals. Dark oil can indicate oxidation and degradation, but the oil is likely to be thick. For example, oil A and B are the same oil after being heated at 375 degrees for two hours. Oil A was bright yellow and darkened to a more normal amber color. Oil B was green and now was dark like coffee. 375 degrees is more than hot enough to cause oxidation, but as this experiment illustrated, it would take more than two hours for viscosity changing oxidation to occur. The oil pictured here is both dark and thick, a strong indicator of excess oxidation. Oil in this condition often stinks and may be described as pungent, sour, or sulfur like. Excess water in oil can also be identified visually. The pictures here illustrate 1% water contamination in various stages of mixture. Water can make the oil cream colored, or may be seen as streaks in the oil when drained. It can also change the texture of oil, making it milky and frothy, and more like mayonnaise than oil. Oil froth often occurs in the coldest and highest parts of the engine, such as dipstick tubes and rocker covers. The most common cause is short run cycles or excessively cold operating conditions when the oil does not reach or exceed 212 degrees long enough to evaporate moisture from the oil. Gasoline contaminated oil will appear thin and have a gasoline odor. Depending on the engine design, there may be several possible causes of fuel entering the crankcase. Fuel dilution can also be caused by short run cycles during cold temperatures. Prolonged use of oil in this condition will result in engine damage and a potential catastrophic engine failure. The failure is likely to result in seized crankshaft bearings or broken connecting rods. Other lubricated contact surfaces are likely to exhibit excess wear, such as pistons, rings, and cylinder bores.